I think the reason that's good is it allows us to more spe- be more specific in how we apply it. You know, you really don't want to put on any more nutrients or any more, um, you know, insecticides or herbicides than what's absolutely necessary. First of all, it costs you a lot of money. You know, uh, you can improve your bottom line if you minim, you know, minimize that or, or uh, do it in a more efficient manner. Um, secondly, there's less runoff than when you're when you're applying just the right amount, and you know, you're you're maximizing the the parts of your land by by being by managing more in a more specific manner. You're you're maximizing the yield potential of those more productive areas while you're probably applying a little more nutrients there than you otherwise would have with just a broad application where, where you your savings come or when you're going over parts of your land that have been identified as less productive and you're not you know wasting nutrients um, or insecticides on those areas you're trying to get the the most out of the best parts of the field. When you're a farmer, you go over that land enough that you become very familiar with. It's amazing as a farmer, you know, even I think of as a young man, some of these fields that I, you know, go over with the harvesting equipment or the seeding equipment, I've been over, I I don't know how many times in the last 40 years I grew up on this farm. So you kind of knew where there was better soil, but you had no way of doing anything about it. And now with this, these tools and technology, you can actually do something about it. And it was my son coming home from college telling me, Dad, you have the equipment to do this already.